Macronutrients, what are they and why are they so important? There's a lot of misinformation swelling out there about sports nutrition. So we are here to set the record straight using top experts to help you eat, sleep, hydrate and train better. Because once these are dialed in, only then will supplements help you achieve your goals. These are the five pillars to a better you. Hey, my name is Kashish Thakur. I'm a trained martial artist, a calisthenics expert, trail ultra marathon runner, and a fitness enthusiast. Also, I'm a roadies winner for the year 2018. Macronutrients. We hear the term macros a lot. But what are they? And how do they support our bodies? The name kind of says it all. Macronutrients or macros for short are the nutritional compound our bodies need in larger quantities. Carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Each of these nutrients provide energy in the form of calories. Both carbohydrates and protein provides 4 calories per gram, whereas fat provides more than double the energy at 9 calories per gram. And all three macronutrients play an important role in the body. By now, you know the importance of protein in supporting muscle recovery when taken consistently over time with regular resistance training. So let's dive into the other two macros. My personal favorite. Carbohydrates are an essential macronutrient required by healthy adults and athletes beyond endurance. How much you need varies. More carbs may be required the more active you are, the longer you train and the higher the intensity. This is because during high intensity exercise, carbohydrates are your body's preferred fuel source. For strength and team sport athletes, they are critical for fueling and refueling muscles, supplying energy for muscle development and supporting normal brain function. But not all carbohydrates are created equal. There are two types that come from food, simple and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are short chain of sugar units, which provide a quick source of energy. Some examples are dairy, fruits and refined grains. Complex carbohydrates are longer chains of sugar units that take longer for the body to digest and absorb, providing more of a sustained energy. Some examples include legumes, starchy vegetables and whole grains. Now let's jump to dietary fats, which are just as important. They get a bad rap, but fats play a number of roles in your body. Just take a look at this laundry list of functions. Energy, metabolism, cell support, hormone support. I can keep going, but you get it? That's why we all need fat in our diets daily. Let's talk about the types of fats and where to find them. There are three major groups, triglycerides, phospholipids and fatty acids. Triglycerides are the main type which make up about 95% of all fats. These are found naturally in our body and in food. Fats can be classified by the chemical structure. The chemical bonds within the structure of fat help to distinguish the type of fat. For example, saturated versus unsaturated. Saturated fats do not contain any double bonds, whereas unsaturated fats contain one or more double bonds. You still with me? Let me break it down a little easier. Unsaturated fats are often liquid at room temperature. Most plant-based liquid oils are unsaturated. Unsaturated fats can also be found in nuts, seeds and fish. Saturated fats are typically solid at room temperature. You can find saturated fats in animal products, whole fat dairy and even tropical oils. Now that we have gotten the basics out of the way, let's talk about how much of each macronutrient we need daily. And to do that, we'll let an expert weigh in. Welcome Mia. Thanks for having me. The AMDR range for total daily energy needs is carbohydrates at 45 to 65% of daily caloric needs, protein at 10 to 35%, and fats at 20 to 35% but it's important to adjust your macros to reflect your goals. For example, endurance athletes may lean heavier on carbohydrates to support fuel needs, nearing 65% of energy from carbohydrates. On the other hand, someone whose goal is to build muscle may follow a diet with 35% of calories coming from protein. That's me for sure. How should I go about adding protein to my diet to support muscle building? Try meeting your total daily intake of protein with evenly spaced feedings approximately every three hours during the day. High protein foods include milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, eggs, fish, 
chicken, and soy products, as well as a variety of plant-based foods like almonds, whole oats, and quinoa. When adding more protein to your diet, start by increasing your protein portion sizes across one or two of your meals based on your goal. You can also add protein to your snacks. If you're typically snacking on carbs, then add a high quality protein source instead or in combination with a carbohydrate. Great advice. And what about supplementing with protein powders? Make sure to stick with a food first approach, meaning the majority of your nutritional needs are met from whole foods. Many protein powders can serve as easy, convenient sources of high quality protein, especially if you have a busy schedule or are on a tight budget. Well said. Thank you so much Mia for dropping by today. Regardless of your goal, the most important thing is balance when it comes to macronutrients. This means getting enough carbohydrates, protein and fats in our diets every day to fuel our bodies to the fullest potential. Thanks for tuning into the Optimum 5.